you know what? Sometimes you add a heading to your client Squarespace site or the site that you're working on and you get this really weird spacing that's happening only on light mode, but not really in edit mode. So let me show you what I mean. Here I have a Brian template and then I have this custom heading that I added in here. And this is the spacing that I have right now in between my text paragraphs. I didn't really add any spacers or padding or margins or anything. It's just there. But then if I take a look at that same page on the live side, you can see that I have this sort of doubled spacing that I have no idea where it's coming from. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what is happening and how we can fix it. So if we inspect the live side, so the heading on the live side with inspect element tool, we are going to see here that I have an H4 and you can see the strips of the margin at the top and at the bottom of the heading when I highlight it here. So this margin is actually coming from these two properties that you see here, this margin block start and margin block end. This is a different way to add margins to blocks in general in CSS. We're not really going to go into how they work or why they're different. Just want you to notice that this is a reason why we have that margin at the top and at the bottom of the heading. Now, you may be wondering, why is it only happening on the live side, but not on edit mode? So let's go ahead and take a look at that too. So if I inspect my edit mode or the heading, the heading inside the edit mode, we still have that margin block start and margin block end values or declarations added in here. But the problem is that we also have a margin bottom zero and a margin top zero up here. So the thing is that this code that we have here is only being applied inside edit mode and not on, we don't have it on the live side. So if we compare here, the inspect element tool windows, and if I put them side by side, let's open this up. You're going to see that we have the same code down here. So this is the same code. And then we have the H4 up here. So this is the H4. This is just code that I added to customize that heading. And then these two snippets here don't show up on this side on the left side, because again, this is something that's just being added to the um, CSS style sheet that happens when you're in edit mode and not the one that goes into the left side. So the reason why this shows on one side or the other doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show you why it's happening on one side and not on the other. Now let's go ahead and just fix that. So basically all we have to do is target that H4 or any other heading that you have inside a code block. Because one thing that you may have noticed is that this only happens when you have a code block or more frequently happens when you have a code block where you added an H4, H5, H6, or even an H1, H2, or H3 that you wanted to style differently. So what we can do is target those code blocks and the particular heading that you're working with inside it and just remove the margin. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I have my custom CSS window. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to target my code blocks and then I'm going to target the heading that I have inside it, an H4. So if you have another type of heading, you can go ahead and use that element selector here instead of an H4. And then what I'm going to do is just set margin top zero and margin bottom zero. So once I save that and then I go into the live side again and refresh the page, you can see that now the spacing matches the one that we're seeing on edit mode. So if I take a look here inside the inspect element tool, you can see that up here, now my snippet appears. So now the margin top and the margin bottom are set to zero. So if I stand on my H4 element, you can see that I have no margin left. So there you have it. This is how you can get rid of this weird spacing whenever you're adding headings inside a code block in Squarespace.